Okay, I thought I'd make you a new video on how I get more amps out of a 30 amp service because RRV requires 50 amps because um, it's 38 foot, two airs, take microwave, electric heat, uh, or electric hot water heater, so it takes quite a bit of juice. But some campgrounds we go to, we've only got 30 amps. And it was always a pain with the, only the 30 amps juggling the air conditioners, the microwave oven, because you could only run two airs maybe. If you try to kick on a microwave like there, you'd have to turn the air off. Or if you wanted to run your electric heater, you'd have to kick an air off. So I was always juggling things back and forth. So I got to thinking up about that and trying to come up with a solution for it. And on most 30 amp pedestals at campgrounds, you, you'll notice you'll have a 30 amp receptacle but you will also have a 20 amp separate receptacle. So I thought, well, how could I, if I could come up with a way to easily tap into that 20 amp receptacle, if I could somehow quick and easy plug in my one air conditioner into that receptacle, that would solve my problem. So I thought about it and put it on paper, and this is what I came up with. So here's kind of a, a rough schematic of it. Because you got your roof air, and of course, you got your main breaker box. So, for, and, and here's the, the, the main breaker that, that powers the air conditioner. You know, probably 15 amp, 20 amp, or something. So, under normal operation, and you look down here, what I've done, I've tapped into it. I got me a, a heavy gauge extension cord. I've, I've tapped into it, and I got my arrows away. That the current is flowing. It's, it's, it's going out of the box, goes outside, comes back in. I'll take you outside and show you what it looks like. But as it as it leaves the breaker box, because it's protected on the breaker, normally from the factory, these wires, your 12-2 wires, would connect directly to the breaker. Well, I tapped into those and ran it from an extension cord outside and then back in through the breaker. So it's under 90% of the time, this is the way it's connected. And it's fully protected with the RV breaker. But on occasions I need to tap into the 20 amp circuit, I just easily unplug it and plug it in so then it's protected by the pedestal breaker so let me take you out around back and show you what it looks like okay here we are at the bay now 90% of the time this is the way it stays it stays plugged up just like this so that way you know the, the, the current is coming through this connection going right back to the breaker everything's protected just like it was from the factory on an occasion where I've only got 30 amps and I want, want to run the bedroom air on the separate 20 amp receptacle on the pedestal, all I do is come out here and unplug it, unloop it, and imagine if we was at a campground right now, I would have a pedestal out here, I just plug this into it, boom. Now I've got separate 20 amps powering my bedroom air conditioning. So that's freed me up to run more things on the 30 amps that I have left. So that has worked out well for me, and maybe it'll work out well for you if you find yourself in that situation. I have many, many a time. Let's go back inside, look at the breaker box a little bit closer, so maybe you got a better idea of how it's working. Okay, here's a closer look at what I did. Right here, this is the original, I think it's 12-2, with ground from the factory. Of course, originally this came down, and went right into the breaker. That's from the factory. So all I did, I, I took that connection loose, put me a, a heavy duty uh, plug-in on it, heavy, heavy duty extension cord, because I've run, run it out, you know, like you saw outside, you know, because it runs out, and it comes right back. So here's, here's my connection to the breaker, so it's always protected. So you can see how the electricity comes from the breaker, Flows through this cord, flows out, goes outside, comes right back in, feeds the air conditioner. Under 90% of the time, that's how it works. Well, occasionally when I need, I've only got 30 amp service, I quickly unplug it, plug it in, and this, this is momentarily bypassed. And it works out great for me. I've been using this for a couple of years now. So uh, maybe someone might find it helpful. Of course, if you're in your breaker box, you got to be sure and be careful you know, understand electricity, respect it. Um, be careful, it's kind of tight in here. You have to see how I have to, I have to put in these little uh, protectors 
on it so uh, nothing got rubbed, no shorts. You know, make sure everything's always protected by a breaker. So, because uh, it is kind of a tight box, but anyways, hope you enjoyed that. Maybe they'll help someone out. Thanks for watching. Bye.